Game Ranks brings you 10 things everyone hates in Clash of Clans. Number 10, when your friend lets you attack for them in the war and you get zero stars. If you know anything about Clash of Clans, you know that wars are important and every single star counts. That's how you win. So when you substitute for a friend who can't attack and botch the whole thing, you look like a jerk and it's super embarrassing. Sorry just doesn't cut it, bud. You let everyone down. Number nine, and when you reach level 100 and a text message ruins the screenshot. Can you imagine the amount of work that went into this? I can because I play this game. I can also imagine exactly how excited this kid was. Finally, now I need to press the home button and the power button at the same time and get this. Oh, mom, come on. Are you joking with me? Ah, I really wanted this. Here's your toilet paper. Number eight, when your army does something stupid that prevents you from being able to win. Hey, no, army. I was just, I wanted you to attack the walls. I realized that you get no points at all for destroying walls. Just concentrate on those, not anything, you know, that's actually important. Thanks. Number seven, when you are being attacked and you can't watch it, you're stuck waiting. You can do nothing about it. The feeling of powerlessness is just devastatingly real as you wait for your virtual clan to be pillaged. Number six, when a new member joins your clan and then immediately threatens to leave when you don't give them an elder or some other thing. I can only imagine what we would do without you. We would be lost without our amazing elder taking junior member. Wait, oh right, you don't matter in any way. Why would we give you that? Number five, when somebody whose name is not in English attacks you. You can bet they take the game seriously and will ruin you. It's basically a death sentence and a guaranteed three-star opponent or the virtual equivalent of a Mongolian horde. Except it's not real, so I guess there's that as they destroy your village. It's real to me. Number four, when you accidentally drop a troop while searching for a raid, the endless shuffle to find the perfect person to demolish sometimes ends in tragedy. When you accidentally place a single troop, sets the timer off. If you don't want to actually fight that person, you're stuck. You don't have the option anymore. You have to win. Or, you know, you can take the loss in trophies and go down a level. Because, yeah, that's the goal of the game. Uh-huh. Number three, when a clan requires a two-to-one donation ratio. Are you kidding me? To get in, I have to give you double what you know. No. What you really need to think about, what you're getting with your clan, is not who's going to donate the most. It's who's going to help you win a war. Number two, when you accidentally run out of gold when nexting through potential opponents. When you're searching for a base to raid, you have to find the right one. You need a certain amount of loot, and you need a certain lack of defense in certain areas you're strong in. And it costs money every time you press next. Ideally, you would find a town to raid. If not, you'll eventually run out of money, which you need, and on top of that, we'll be stuck battling whoever. It's like a cruel game of roulette in the world of Clash of Clans. And finally, the number one thing people hate about Clash of Clans is placing the end battle button right next to the troop button. What is that? Do you know how many times I've accidentally pressed that button? Enough. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Though we all love Clash of Clans, it does contain these grievances. Which one bothers you the most? Please leave a comment. Also, do not forget to press like, to favorite the video, and most importantly, to subscribe to Game Ranks. We have a constant stream of awesome videos always coming out on our channel, so you're going to want to come back as often as you can. Thanks a lot for watching, and end battle.